Oh. Well, hi. Here I am again, and I'm going to do a chicken administrative soup, I think. I'm just going to go along as I'm, um, as I'm making it and I'm going to calculate the pro points for you as we go and we'll see what we come up with at the end of it. Okay, so all I've done is turned on my pot and I'm going to put in uh, two teaspoons of, of olive oil. So let's just put a bit of olive oil in there. And I've already cut up uh, some bacon to go. Okay, so I've got the bacon here. Alright, and that's one pro point, so I'll just put that in. Turn that down a little bit because I've started, started to heat that up before we turn it on. And I'm going to pop in the uh, chicken, chicken carpet. I'm going to put in two tonight. And I might just trim a little bit of that fat on, I think. Oh, there's one stuck in there. So I'll trim that fat on. And give that to the chicken. And then the second half is going in there. So I might just try that off a little bit. Okay. Just try the second one off. And I've already prepared the vegetables, so I might just let that fry off a little bit and then back. Okay. Okay, so I've fried off the chicken. And you'll have to excuse me, I've got really bad hay fever tonight, but I needed to prepare some meals for this week coming because um, I just won't be able to do it tomorrow. I've got a couple of appointments coming up. So anyway, so the two chicken uh, carcasses are in there. I'm just going to put in a bit of leek. And I also had some leftover red onion that was in the fridge, so I'm just going to pop that in as well. Okay, so that's going into the soup. And I've also diced up one big onion, but uh, I might just put in three quarters of that I reckon and I'm going to leave that over for the next meal I'm going to prepare after this soup. Okay, so the leeks in. And I haven't done this soup this way before but I just thought why well, can't I do a chicken in a strain soup so we'll see how it turns out. Right, so the carpet is in there. Alright, so so far we've got three pro points for the oil. Uh, we've got the chicken carpet which Hardly any meat comes off that, so I'm, I'm not sure what we'll count in the bacon. So we're up to four, and let's say three pro points per carcass. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're up to ten so far. So keep track. Ten. And I've diced up um, three, three carrots, and I've done half a bunch of celery as well. So I'm just going to pop that in. Okay, so I'm going to pop in the carrots. So they're in. And I'll pop in the uh, celery now as well. Right, so it's half the celery going in there. That's so quite a lot. I'd like to make a pretty big soup. Right. And I've got one zucchini that I'm going to pop in. And then I'm just going to put in two bay leaves, so my drawer full of herbs, so two bay leaves going there. And what am I going to do next? Okay, so I might just leave that cook for a little bit, so cook down, so the celery and carrots become a bit soft. Okay, I might just put a bit of cracked pepper in there. two chicken uh, carcasses and we've also got the celery, carrots, bit of bacon going on in there and what I'm actually going to do is I forgot to get fresh garlic at the supermarket which I'm devastated but anyway so I'm going to put some jarred garlic in which I never use, I hate it or I don't particularly like it so I've just put in probably about a teaspoon into there of that garlic okay and I will just stir that down the bottom there and I might 
might turn up just a little bit further. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I normally just put probably about two tablespoons of uh, low salt chicken stock in here. Okay, so that's in there, ready to go. So we'll leave that there. And I've already boiled the jug. So this jug is a litre. So I'm just going to... I'll probably end up doing two boiled jugs of water into that. So that's a... Uh, okay, so so far we don't have to add much more. But I will fill that up. And um, I'll probably put the kettle on again and boil it up again. Okay, so we'll just leave that over there. And I just wanted to say that there, there's a bag of chicken frames. So we've got two in there and there's one, two, so there's, there's four to a pack. They're $3.30, so cheap, cheap meal. And um, I'll just freeze those now for a, to a later date. So I'll, I'll bag them up later and put them into a container. So I'll just leave those there. Okay, so we've got the water in there ready to go. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, open up two tins of tomatoes. Because remember we're making it into a minestrone. So I've got two tins of tomatoes that I'm going to pop in there. Okay, so that's one. Uh, two, and I've been using these ones, the crushed ones, because like I've talked about before, there's 97% tomatoes in there, so there's a lot more tomatoes in these tins than there is um, some of the other brands, so I don't even know how to say it, Ard Mona, crushed uh, tomatoes, so there we go, so there's two tins going into there, and just to get the juice out of it, I'll just fill it up. Okay, so we'll just let that simmer down for a bit. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in uh, a, kin of, a tin of kidney beans. So this is going to add us up to seven pro points uh, back into there. So, so far we're up to the ten, so adding the can of kidney beans. So we're up to 17 pro points for that soup. Okay, so we'll check in in a sec. Okay, hi, we're back. Uh, this is just a tin of kidney beans, so I'm just going to put the tin of kidney beans into the soup as well. And um, I'll just put that into the sink. And I've decided to actually pop in another can of uh, tomatoes into the soup. So I'm just going to pop that in. Okay, so we've got three tins of tomatoes in that now. And I'll just leave that. So it is actually quite a big soup that we've made up, but that will do us for lunches and uh, a couple of meals during the week. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that simmer for a, probably an hour or so and uh, I'll show you what I do when the uh, chicken carcasses are cooked and I'll pull them out and I'll shred them. Okay, I've decided to um, put in a, a potato and some um, sweet potato. Okay, so I've decided to put in five pro points worth of that. So I'll just move that off to the side and I'll get myself a tea towel to open that up. It's a little bit hot now. We'll pop them to the chicken speed. Okay, so I was just working out. So that there, I've put on the Weight Watchers scales and I've worked out that that's five pro points. So I reckon that's a fair bit of potato going in there. Okay, so that'll be like gold, I reckon, when we start digging around uh, in our minestrone soup. Oh, my scales just went off. I just had pasta up ready to go to show you. So I'm just going to let that boil for, or just simmer probably for about another hour. And then um, I'll, you know, probably come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the carcasses, but it's a simple, I know I've talked, I uh, showed you before how to use the scales, but if I was to pop in just P-A-S, T and A and I enter, and we're just going to scroll through until we get to pasta, and we want pasta dry, so I'm going to pop in I might do Let's go, so 63 grams of pasta. Okay, so I'll save that for later. And then once the uh, soup has cooked, I'll pop the pasta back into that soup. Okay, so I'm going to pop the lid on. All right, so the lid's back on. And uh, so far I've worked out, so I just wrote it down on a piece of paper, that the chicken soup that we've made, the minestrone, has come to 28 pro points. And I would say, looking at that big pot there, that we're going to get at least 10 to 12 serves out of that. So... We'll uh, come back and... One. Okay, I'm just going to take out the chicken carcass out of the soup and then I'm going to show you just a, another really quick meal that I'm going to prepare for this week. And damn it all, it's going to all fall apart. So I'm just going to put...
put that there. And sometimes you can have a couple of little bones. Not very often in the soup. Let's go through that. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. If you could smell it, you would say yes. Okay, so a bit of chicken in there already. So, or is that the, I think that might be the cartilage, so we'll take that out. And And what I'll do is I might just pop that pasta in there now and we can let that cook up. Okay. Alright, so that's the soup going. Alright, so we'll leave that there. And I'll leave the chicken over to the side so that cools down a little bit. Okay, so here's the next one. Go. Okay, hi. So we're just, um, I'm just pulling apart the, um, the carcasses of the chicken. So it is a little bit fiddly and a bit time consuming, but you know, I've already done one carcass, it's probably taken me about five minutes to do it, so you know, it doesn't bother me to pull it apart. I'd like to see how much chicken I can get off it. But I just always remember my mum using uh, chicken carcasses in her, you know, soup, so you know, I reckon they give off a great flavour. They're cheap and uh, they can go a long way, but again, you know, you just got to make sure that you don't leave any little bones that are in there. So I just sometimes pull them apart. I think the neck part is probably the fiddliest, but you know, there's already that much meat that's come from come from those frames. So and if you're going a bit blind, you don't want to have to um, go through all of that. So you know, you could use whatever you like. You could use breasts if you want. Then you wouldn't have to pull it all apart, but I just think again that the frames give off a lot more taste. And look at all that meat that comes off the neck. Okay, so there's a fair bit on there. Obviously, you just make sure all your hands are clean when you're peeling them. Okay, so look at all that straight down the back of the neck. Okay, so there's the neck. So, am I speaking loud enough for you, or too too quietly? Okay, so I was just in deep con con concentration then. I've never uh, peeled a carcass in front of anybody before, or an audience anyway. I think I just dropped a bone in there, I did. Okay, so, anyway, so I might just leave that there. And here's a little bit more, and that's just come off the rib. So there's no bones there, okay. And a bit of bone there which we don't want. Okay, so you've got all your veggies there. So I will just give my hands a rinse. All right, so there's your carcasses. Whoops, carcasses are there. All right, so I've got those. And I'm just gonna lift up the soup. Here. I'm gonna pop all the, the um, chicken in there. And what have I done with my and then there's some more vegetables I've got into there. Okay. So there we've got it. And the pasta should be coming up. So that pasta should be just about cooked soon. So there you have it. So chicken and um, pasta and kidney bean soup. So we worked that out again at being, I think it was the 30, wasn't it? Oh, 28 pro points for that pasta, for that soup there. That was including the six pro points worth of chicken, and I don't even think it was that much, so maybe about 25 pro points. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that cook for about another 10 more minutes, and then that's ready for the rest of the week, so I'll um, container that up into different containers, and I'll put some in the freezer as well for safekeeping, and that's about it. Okay, thank you.